God codes, as we've worked through the different levels, so God codes for me is a teaching of seven webinars that came true of the different steps back to yourself, back to the God state, the godly state, and then how to live it. It's not just a state of meditation. For me, there's like a rule book in the system, which actually I'm going back to Kenya now. I felt drawn back. I've been called back to Kenya, so I'm leaving soon. And Kenya brought in the root for me and the knowledge, the wisdom as well, which also living here in Greece for the last, I think, seven or eight years now, um, or more actually, <laughs> it's really brought in another layer. And I realized that all the places I lived in, I lived in Budapest for six years, then Berlin for five or six years, then all over the world. And each place was bringing me closer to myself and also giving me more aspects of myself or the possibility to connect to thyself. Now, counsel is the ability to sit with oneself and to go into a state of consciousness. And as we've worked through in the God Codes, the spirit of creation was the first one, then the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding of systems, and now we're at the spirit of counsel. Counsel for me is the divine womb, which um, Zulu elder was talking about, was that the, the feminine brain, the feminine womb is the brain and is the brain of the universe, which is creation. And that brings me to my godly state. Now, <clears throat> when I'm in a state of counsel, it's dropping into, you can call it the zero point, it's dropping into your heart, it's grounding into state of consciousness, which is meditation, which is experienced in the spirit of creation, spirit of wisdom, understanding of systems. And I say now we're dropping into counsel. So counsel is sitting in a state that you're acknowledging inner and outer world. And you have the ability to sit with oneself and knowing that all your ancestors are with you. They're also in that state that they can bring forth because you're dropping in because of what we worked with and we got those gifts from Kenya was the ancestral tree of life which is the consciousness and wisdom of the ancestors so they're also sitting in council with you and bringing forth the higher purpose or a deeper understanding of what's happening in your life then that you're in your channel you're connected to your creator state heaven and earth also your Akashic records so you can access these codes this information when you're in council and you've the ability to discern and to work and to look at all the aspects now the ability to sit in council for me is the ability to look at all my shadows to to really you know you can say this evil in the world and for me that's there as a signpost <laughs> to look at it first or is it in me because if it's coming up in the outer world it's in me because we're creating the whole thing. So a lot of shadow aspects are coming up. And if you sit in council, it's to honor your demons, your evil, your ability to see your lies, your manipulation, your poisoning, your sabotage. And from that, then you go in an elevated state and you can then connect to your godly state, which is the council. So we have a council as well of spirits who are living in this life with us significant people and that council also will be guiding you so when you're in a state of council reflection which can be true meditation it can be in the chaos because that still point of council is always with us we can drop into oneself and then we start feeling different aspects of ourselves and accepting those parts and then creation starts resolving them and we can start seeing patterns seen manipulation, seen lies, seen and having the discernment to choose something different because it's about free will and we choose a different character, you know, a different way to behave, different way to respond, different actions. So in this webinar, I'm going to bring in a lot of information I feel about being in council, how to sit in council and how to get the best out of it and then how to bring that into your daily practice, your daily life. So 
it's remembering who you are and the ability to connect with counsel with Mother Earth, counsel with the heavens above, <laughs> and with your guides and helpers, with your ancestors, with yourself and your life experiences. And then decluttering or deprogramming what's frozen in you and what lies and manipulation within you to go back into purest truth on the most sacred level. So I'm looking forward to doing this. If you are not part of the, the webinars we've done, the Spirit of Creation, Spirit of Wisdom, Understanding of Systems, you can still dive in. Um, everything I do is recorded then because I was told by Spirit years ago to record everything because it, we are frequency. And it takes a few moments for that frequency to get into our system and we become that frequency. So each webinar is bringing you to a new frequency and you work it in your cells and it will activate what resistance or what heavier frequencies are in you. And then maybe it's the first webinar, maybe it's the second time you watch it, the third time you watch it, some people have said the fourth time, that it becomes you. And when you become it, the outer world changes and the lies of manipulation collapse. So it's about becoming the God state, becoming the frequency, becoming the heaven and earth, becoming the leader, becoming Christ consciousness. So all these aspects are within us and it's about us living the heaven and earth vibrationally, cellularly and honoring I am that, not faking it, being it. It's a state of presence and being on a frequency level because we are creation of frequency as creation is frequency, non-physical, but then it drops into physical. So this is what I'm working with in this webinar, serious and a lot more. That's just some of the keys that will come in. <laughs> And I'm looking forward to sharing them with you over the weekend. So as I say, if you were not part of the webinar series, feel free to go onto the website, purchase it on the website, and then you can have all the, I think we did three. Yeah, there's three of them on four, actually. This will be the fourth one. So there's three recordings, and then you can go live then at the next one. So I look forward to seeing you there, and you can watch it at your own convenience. And it really is in a state of, in the quantum field timeless space that the frequencies I've changed, you've changed, the results have changed. It's constant, constant evolution. So looking forward to seeing the webinar. And if it doesn't resonate with you as well, it could be the resistance and protection in the system. It's bringing you back home to yourself. We don't like changes. We don't like to change because it's like free fall. So our system controls us from not moving deeper into our systems. Have a beautiful day and remembering who you are. Thank you.